And so over <laughs> yesterday you came with me to Imlitala. You saw Imlitala is a very special atmosphere. This very, very kind-hearted Vaishnava sir. And even I have a very long-standing relationship with Imlitala. Uh, great, great love and great uh, joy. As a matter of fact, our gate here, our gate that has a history. When, when, when we come into Vindakunja, we go through this beautiful gate. So this gate I made for Imlitala 20 years ago. At that time, Imlitala was closed. It had a wall. And to get into Imlitala, you could only go inside from the other side, from the village. It was totally. So at that time, I told them, this is the Parikrama. Many people come here. Why don't we break this open and make a nice gate here? So at that time I convinced them and I financed it and I, I broke the wall and installed the gate. So that gate was there for 15, 20 years, I don't remember exactly. When one time, I, one day I come in there, I see my gate which I installed was lying on the ground. They had taken it out because they were reconstructing to do what they have now. Now you see it's, a, it's some palace, some art exhibit palace. I mean. Did you go to Imlitala yesterday, Ravi? Ravi, you went? Uh, so beautiful artwork, no? I mean, amazing. Tamal Krishna, this, this young guy who spoke at last, he did everything by himself. He is the, he is the, the genius who actually does all this. So, uh, so he took out the old gate, which was ugly by their new standards. They made something much nicer. And I saw the gate lying there. So I went to Tamar, what are you going to do with this gate? He says, I don't know, sell the iron. I say, well, you sell the iron, then you sell it to me. So I took the gate back, gave a donation to the temple, and the gate fitted perfectly just in our hole there where we wanted to be and there was no gate in the past you know but just perfectly it fitted there i couldn't believe it you know just had to screw it a little bit on the one and ready going so in this way we are when we walk into vindakuja we are actually walking into imlitala also in that sense because we're walking through the imlitala's gate so it says these are little anecdotes, <coughs> little uh, little details of our life, which are actually, at least to my heart, they're very charming. Uh, very charming because uh, it may every time I go through there, I think, ah, Iblitala here. Because if you see how it looked before, it looked it was just a, a, a dark cement wall was there, and nobody knew where Iblitala was. And, uh, and that was a different history of that time. Maybe we find an old photo of that time, an old photo. Anyhow, at that time we didn't have Yamuna Kunja either. So it was all. So when you do something somewhere, Krishna, Dambeng, uh, Krishna takes you in consideration and gives you some chance to serve. And the Dina Bandhu is there now. I'm very happy because giving life to the place was what it needed. Beautiful Yamuna Kunja real life to give real life to a place very difficult because of the dam there's not so many people and those who are here they're very busy i mean in the big season when the big amount of pilgrims come of course and there are a lot of like for yugal parikrama half of the world is walking by your door but they're walking 42 kilometers so they don't have time to stop at every place because they'll never get around 42 kilometers if they make <laughs> more than five stops you know it's such a long long walk <laughs> 